the ring had never come to me. I wish none of this had happened. So do all who live to see such times, but that is not for them to decide. All we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given to us. There are other forces at work in this world, Frodo, besides the will of evil. Bilbo was meant to find the ring. In which case, you also were meant to have it. And that is an encouraging thought. Hello, my name is Jacob, and I am a Norse Pagan, and we made it through 2020. Now, the reason I played this quote for you at the very beginning is because this is the quote that got me through last year. Because I know, like many people, I kept asking myself, why now? Why during my lifetime is all of this happening? And this quote made me realize that this question has not just come up in our lifetime. How many other terrible years have there been? How many more terrible things have happened? Look at J.R.R. Tolkien himself, the man who wrote this quote originally in The Fellowship of the Ring. He served in World War I, one of the worst wars, the bloodiest wars, the darkest wars in history, human history. He also lived through World War II, um, living in Britain, only miles away from the next darkest conflict in human history. And he wrote a story about a horrible conflict, about a dark time. He also focused on the heroes that overcame that. And so that's what we need to be. Well, yes, The Lord of the Rings is a fantasy novel. It was written by someone that did go through dark times and also written by someone that had an interest in Norse mythology. And I guarantee you, he also read the Havamal. I mean, many of us can look at a character like Gandalf and see Odin. And I know many of us attach to the wanderer aspect in that character very heavily. And so I believe this is great advice to live by, especially in the times we're living in now. It may seem dark now, but the, honestly, you have to think about what can you actually do to fix it? What can you actually have an effect on? And what we truly can have an effect on are the people we care for and on ourselves. And so for me, that's what I focused on. I focused on the community. I focused on gathering people. I focused on just building this relationship with the gods, with my folk, and with the spirits of the land I live on. Yes, when I put out a goal last year, I said I wanted to travel internationally. I wanted to go to Iceland. I wanted to travel more. But obviously that didn't happen. And so what I had to do was focus, okay, what can I travel in now? What can I have an effect in now? Being upset about it, being angry that I couldn't travel abroad was not going to fix anything. But I could still travel here in the United States. I didn't know everything about the state I lived in. So I focused on Kentucky. I focused on exploring the nature around us, the nature that is just outside my door, literally sometimes just outside of my door. While this isn't the most amazing park I've ever been in, this is only minutes from my house. And getting to see something like this when it rains a lot is truly something special. But then driving an hour to see beautiful mountains and waterfalls, driving an hour or two hours to the west to see swamps and bogs, there are beautiful places all around us, and I really had to focus on the land that I lived on to truly see that. Last year drove a lot of us into our homes for reasons that we cannot control and some reasons that we hate. But at the same time, it required us to be more individual in our practice at times, to focus more on our individual growth. And again, I think this is something important that if we don't just shut down, we can't just shut down. Our souls cannot do that. We have to nourish that. And so this quote and thinking, People have gone through dark times, but heroes have prevailed. People have prevailed. The stories of the individuals have been able to shine through the darkness, no matter the time or what has happened in history. So I hope this you can take with you into your year and, and into 2021, as I know I will. But I'm also taking more with me. I'm ready to explore more of my personal ritual practice. I'm ready to explore more of others' ritual practice. I want to travel as far as much I want to travel as much as this year will let me. I want to meet other people that have their own individual practices, meet people that perform their own unique rituals, and then gather that wisdom, gather that knowledge, and take it back to the gatherings that I perform, the rituals that I put on, um, and share them with others so others can take that with them. Because that is the beauty of community, that is the beauty of paganism, is that we share wisdom, that we, we grow together. We all have a different practice, and we can all learn from one another. And so that's something I'm really going to strive for in this coming year. The types of videos I also want to do, I want to change just a little bit. I want to become a little bit more philosophical. I want to make more videos like this where I talk about words of wisdom. I start looking at quotes and analyzing them and saying, you know what, this is something that has taught me and I want to share it with you. 
I wanna talk more about my personal discoveries into being a minimalist. I wanna talk more about digital minimalism. I wanna talk about journaling and how that's helped me. Um, you know, and all these things that I've learned in the previous year that I wanna take into this one. Truth be told, we don't know where this year is gonna take us. No one really knows. We don't know if the dark times are gonna be over or we don't know if it's gonna keep going. It could be six months, it could be tomorrow, it could be 10 years from now. We don't know. And I know many of us have had different reactions to this. I know it's scary, trust me, I'm living in this time with you. But at the same time, I feel like when we say, you know what, I can only affect so much. I can only do so much. And when you start thinking about the things you actually have an effect on, I believe that is where you're going to find your happiness, even in these dark times. I don't think any of us wanna live through times such as these. But the fact of the matter is, we are. And we gotta decide who we're gonna be when we come out of this. Are we gonna let this weaken our faith? Are we gonna let it weaken our own resolve? Are we going to allow ourselves the time to grow stronger, to grow stronger as individuals, but also grow stronger as a community? People are returning to the religion of the earth, of nature, because we see how important it truly is to us. And people are returning to the religion of the bone, understanding what our ancestors figured out, and taking that and bringing it into the next generation. We are carrying the torch now. And thousands of people woke up last year to what I believe is the fastest religious movement in the world, not just Norse paganism, but paganism in general. Connection is what we are truly seeking. And I am so excited to see how much further these beliefs can go, how much further we can explore within ourselves. So folk, I know it might be hard, but I'm excited for 2021. And I'm telling you that as someone that does not know where it's going to take us. But I believe through wisdom, and through following the guidance of the bone and the earth, we will find a way to come out of this as changed and better people. So folk, I hope these words of wisdom have helped you and perhaps can guide you through the coming year. And until the hall, Scott.